Todd Cantwell has had enough of Chris Sutton. He has blasted the former Celtic man, an attention seeker. But is that even the correct word? Attention seeker works, but what about troll? What about obsessed? What about all these names you can call Chris Sutton? Here's another one for you guys. Absolute fud. Welcome back to the channel. And uh, yeah, Todd Cantwell has had enough of Chris Sutton calling him out. Enough of Chris Sutton taking jabs at him and Cantwell has basically opened up here he's called out Chris Sutton he wants to know why you've got such a problem with me why are you always talking about me why are you always obsessed essentially with Todd Cantwell so this is what Todd had to say um, he was asked a question on a social media post regarding who is the best pundit in Scottish football and the Rangers ace commented quote I can tell you it isn't Chris Sutton, end of quote. Then the remark prompted a fierce response for Sutton where he branded Cantwell TikTok and referenced all his losses to Celtic. I mean, there has been quite a lot, let's be honest. Well, there hasn't been that much, to be fair. Cantwell only joined in January, so I mean, Cantwell hasn't lost that much to Celtic compared to all the other Rangers players, so yeah, there is that. Uh, Cantwell then fired back and he asked Sutton, why are you so interested in Todd Cantwell? Because he's obsessed, mate. That's why he's that's why he's interested. Uh, Todd Cantwell then went on to say, quote, So you have pundits, you have ex-footballers, and their lives completely different now. They don't have that opportunity to play anymore, and I can't speak about what it's like being an ex-footballer because I'm obviously still a current footballer. There's just one thing I can't really understand when it comes to pundits that used to play football, which is jumping on players. What would I call what Chris Sutton does as attention-seeking? I find that very bizarre because if you had a good career... Why are you sat on Twitter hammering into a lad that you had an interview with and said you're an amazing person, an amazing player, when you're back at Norwich and think that he just forgets that? For me, this isn't even real. What he's doing is playing up to his links with Celtic and you know he needs to stay relevant. And that's sad for me. If I'm an ex-player on Twitter, tweeting a 25-year-old trying to stay relevant, for me, I look at myself and go, what am I doing? That's just me. I don't know why he sat at home doing this. For me, it's like, why are you so interested in Todd Cantwell? Why are you so interested in Rangers? You played for Celtic. Fantastic. Support Celtic. Tweet about Celtic every day. You love them. That's fine. But for me, he just frustrates me. The reason I've had a couple of chomps and I don't chomp on much is because he spoke to me at Norwich and he told me what a fantastic footballer I was. The world's at your feet, Todd. You're a great guy, Todd. And then I signed for Rangers and it's like, oh, just forget everything I said before and I'm going to start a feud with you on Twitter. So I'm like, what? End of quote. So, yeah, Todd Cantwell here. Not sitting back. Not afraid to exchange with Chris Sutton on social media. And it is kind of embarrassing. It is. Chris Sutton is obsessed. There is no fucking doubt about it. Now, sometimes I think Sutton... I do think Sutton likes to troll sometimes. I, I'm not sure if he's actually obsessed or whether he just likes to troll Rangers fans, Rangers football club, Rangers players. But it does come across as... Um, it does come across as pathetic sometimes from Chris Sutton. Again, I mean... He's completely changed his mind. He had a lot of positive things to say about Todd Cantwell. And now all those positive things have dried up. And I accept that when Todd Cantwell signs for Rangers, the rivals of Celtic, Chris Sutton's team, he's hardly going to be praising Todd Cantwell. He's not going to be loving, writing love letters to uh, Todd Cantwell every week. He's not going to do that. But I wouldn't expect him to do a total 180 like Todd Cantwell is saying here, and go from giving him lots of praise, go from being, you're such a good guy, you're a great guy, to basically, you know, just bashing him and running him down 24-7. So yeah, it is very strange, but I disagree, well, I, I don't know, I disagree with Todd Cantwell when he says Chris Sutton is not the best pundit in Scottish football. Chris Sutton's entertaining. Whether you like him, you hate him, or you love him, or what, Chris Sutton is entertaining. And for me, when I watch football, I want Chris Sutton to be doing punditry. When Sutton and Boyd are doing punditry, it's great. You know, you just got the back and forward between them. It's good stuff. They're, they're always taking jabs at each other, always, you know, trying to rattle each other's cages. And it, it's, at times, maybe it's like two big grown kids, you know, fighting, but... It is pretty entertaining and it is fun to watch and I would rather Chris Sutton than most pundits, even if he is obsessed and some of his views are completely, you know, 
out there. Um, I still think I'd prefer him over someone who's just boring and doesn't offer anything interesting. So, But yeah, no, I, I agree with uh, Todd Campbell here. It, it's cool to see Campbell actually come out and say this. Normally players don't react. Normally players keep their head down. I'm sure Todd Campbell, though, will probably get negative... Um, a negative reaction to this, they'll probably just throw in the fact that maybe you should concentrate on your football considering your team is seven points behind Celtic, which is true to be honest. I mean, Chris Sutton, I'm sure we'll have the last laugh. I mean, Chris Sutton, his team is top and Todd Campbell's team's seven points behind in second place. So right now, Chris Sutton does have the last laugh, but it was kind of refreshing to see Campbell come out and just accuse him of uh, you know being <laughs> just um, attention seeking and why do you love Rangers so much I mean why are you so obsessed with Rangers why are you so obsessed with Todd Campbell um, yeah it was it was fun to see Campbell come out and say that anyway guys let's know what you think down below we'll catch you in the next one Beat Fog Football thanks for watching and peace